I went back to the Hawthorne V3 superchargers a couple more times. What were the results? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you just found my videos, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. If you've been watching this channel, you may recall a month ago, I went to the Hawthorne Design Center Supercharger where they opened two V3 super fast superchargers that are supposed to go up to 250 kilowatt charging rate. The first time I went to test it out, it did not go up to the promised 250 kilowatt charging rate. So I decided to go back there a few more times just to see if I would ever experience that 250 kilowatt and up to a thousand miles per hour charging rate. I guess you can call me obsessed or persistent or better yet determined to see my car charging and experiencing that 250 kilowatt charging rate. I'm about to share with you two clips that are one week apart in the last couple weeks. These V3 chargers are still a little bit finicky and I believe that the first time that I went to charge, they were not really functioning properly. And you will see why in the clips that I'm about to share. Just FYI, this past week when I tried to go there again, it said on the map that it has reduced service. And a couple of my subscribers have also informed me that they are not going up to 250 kilowatt right now. So either we broke it <laughs> or Tesla really needs to get those V3 online and stabilized ASAP. Here's the first video clip of me going back there trying to see if I could get up to that 250 kilowatt charging rate again. I'm back at the Hawthorne V3 supercharger and I ran this down to 3% and I think today I may be able to see almost 250 kilowatts. So let's give it a try. All right, 1019 p.m. I'm going to set this to 90%. Done. The person that was here before me, I was chatting with him he was running the same experiment as well. So I uh, was in line to charge. The one next to us, this one, closes up. That one is down, but last week when I was here, that one was up. So this is the same one as I first came to charge a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm over 200 kilowatt. Nice, nice, nice. This is going fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 247 kilowatt, 1057 miles per hour charge rate. Nice. This is awesome. This is more like it. It's still staying at well over 200 kilowatt. But it looks like once you hit 10%, it start dropping. I think the trick to really get up to that 250 kilowatt or close to it is you do have to run your battery down to nearly empty in order to see it, which is what I stated in the previous video when I came here with 16% of battery and it only went up to 191 kilowatt of charge rate. Now the charge is getting really, really loud again like last time. I don't know if you can hear it, but let me go outside again.
super loud. But surprisingly, the charger is not as loud as last time. It's the battery itself this time. This is starting to taper down. I just dropped below 100 kilowatt charging rate and the battery has gone quiet. And I'm really surprised that this time the charger itself is not so noisy. So I wonder if the last time I was here doing this video, that charger was actually about to be broken because this time it did not sound like that at all. But the battery was humming a lot louder this time. Last time I had a subscriber who asked in the comment section, what about we set the limit all the way to 100% but you unplug it when it hits 90, would the battery charge faster? And the answer is actually no, because as you can see here, with the progression, how quickly the charging rate started to taper down once you hit pretty much 60 to, to 70%. So now it's just a um, much slower charging time. And uh, it doesn't make a difference whether you are charging up to 90% or to 100%. And the reality is if you do charge it all the way to 100%, and the battery is calculating or the battery management system is calculating the entire charging time it will actually be a lot slower during that home stretch so you really can't trick the system that's the moral of the story here okay we are at the 40 minute mark at 10 59 and voila it stopped just as it calculated so we charge from 3% to 90% in 40 minutes total time. Really impressive. Thank you, Tesla. And for reference, since people have asked last time, this whole supercharging session cost me $20.48, which is so much cheaper than putting gas in the car. Another interesting information is now on the display it says 250 kilowatt max now and this used to say eight stalls because these two v3 chargers weren't officially online yet but now they are so this station hawthorne supercharger is officially part of the v3 network and just for reference this one is at 32 kilowatt per hour charge rate so yeah this time i am this close to getting to that peak 250 kilowatt charging rate and what i've done this time is that i ran my battery all the way down to five percent or less because as i explained in the very first v3 test video the way that v3 charging goes is that it will peak really fast initially and then it will start to taper down as you go versus the regular supercharger it goes up a little bit slowly and then it peaks and then it comes back down so i think maybe when i ran it down to my battery that low it helped i guess <laughs> but anyway here's the second time that i went back to that v3 charger as a follow-up and let's check the results. I'm back at the V3 supercharger. And the interesting thing is this time it did not tell me, sorry, it's in Chinese, but it did not tell me that charging is only limited to 80%. I had previously set this to 90% and it looks like it's staying there. I didn't have to change any of this. So this is pretty cool. Let's see how fast this is gonna go up to this time. 249, ooh, 250, yes, it hit peak. Yes, 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 this is so cool. Looks like they fixed this charger 
as well as this other one with this other color that just pulled away. So both of these are now open at Hawthorne. And I am still staying at 250 kilowatt. This is very nice. And I started, I think, 9.18 p.m. And I started at 4% and I'm charging all the way to 90% this time. This is getting louder. Can you hear it? But yeah, this battery is humming really loudly. Let me go outside. surprisingly isn't as loud as the first time that I came here to charge. So maybe the first time when I was here it wasn't working properly. And now this cord is hot. This is actually hot to touch. Wow, this is hot. This is hot too. It's been 20 minutes since I've been here. I charged from 4% all the way to 70% already. Absolutely incredible. Tesla, please put out more V3 chargers here. We need them here in LA area so badly. The Culver City supercharger that I normally go to, it was insanely busy again tonight with all stalls taken. I just came straight here and the Hawthorne one here, there was only one regular stall open when I got here and both of these V3s were taken. So I decided to wait for the V3 to open up because I needed to charge to 90%. And uh, because the V3s are so fast, they take so much less time to charge. I only waited for less than 10 minutes before one of these two V3 stalls were open. So please Tesla install or upgrade more superchargers to these V3 so you can serve more cars. There we go. 39 minutes. Started at 917, finished at 956, charged from 4% all the way to 90% and total session $20.16 for the California or LA area supercharging rate. Whoa, how about that? I don't know if you noticed, but for about a second there, it actually went up to 251 kilowatt charging rate. That was absolutely mind-blowing and incredible. And I'm so happy that I got to experience what real V3 supercharging is like. I hope Tesla will fix these very soon and they will bring even more of these V3 superchargers online because we desperately need them to reduce charging time and also reduce the congestion at the popular superchargers here in California. And I think I'm going to rest a little bit on doing these V3 supercharging tests now. So what do you think about these V3 superchargers? Leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe down there. Give this a like and share this with your friends. Ask me questions about this car. If you like, I am happy to help you. Until next time, have a blessed week.